Hey guys, so today I have another social media tips slash advice video for you guys. And you guys seem to really like these videos from me, so I want to do more of these this year. But at the minimum, probably like one or two a month, I think. You guys seem to really, again, really, really like these videos. So I'll link the other ones that I've done down below. I have two on Instagram and also one other on Twitter. And those videos are more on how to gain followers. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on your notifications because that's been a weird YouTube thing lately. People aren't seeing videos but yeah let's go ahead and get started so the first hack that I'll share with you guys for Twitter especially is being able to talk to Siri and tell her to send a tweet for you so example Siri send a tweet okie dokie what's the message tweet from Siri Uh oh I can't post this because I can't seem to find a good connection well fuck <laughs> Anyway, it is possible to let Siri send a tweet for you. I just did it the other day. And I think that's really nice to be able to do that, especially if you're like in a hands-free environment like driving. So hack number two is being able to beat the 140 character limit. I've seen people do like the tweet longer and like those links and stuff like that. I think it's better to just open up notes in your phone and say whatever the heck you want in your notes and then screenshot that and tweet it. I've seen people do that before and I just think it's like the smart way to go, especially if you have something to say. And to Tip number three is if you don't have your phone on you or if you're like working in an office environment and you want to use Twitter on your desktop computer, you can still use emojis doing that. So what you want to do is just go ahead and log into Twitter, place the cursor in any text field, and then press the control command and spacebar keys and then the emojis will pop up and you can go ahead and use those. So tip number four, this is a great way to gain followers and it's also a way you can DM your new Twitter followers, which is awesome. So this is an app. I'm not sponsored by this app or anything. This is just a cool tool I've been using and I really like it and I think you guys will too. It's called Crowdfire. And this used to work really well for Instagram as well, but not so much now. I use this more for Twitter. You can put in an automated DM so that when new followers follow you, you can send them an, it'll just send an automatic message to your new followers. So what I like to put in mine is, hey, thanks for following me, check out my channel. And I'll put a link to my YouTube channel. And I think that's a really great way, especially for like businesses and yada, yada, yada. Like if you're wanting to focus attention on, you know, a specific thing, like getting your followers to go to a certain link, a DM is the greatest way to do it, I think, because it's more personal. And yeah, you can make your automatic automated message as personal as you want. I've added emojis in mine and stuff like that. Okay, so the last hack or advice really that I'll share is one of my favorite things to do on Twitter, especially since I'm a YouTuber and a blogger and I like to focus attention on one specific link, like once a day or every week, like I'll change this link. But I really, really love pinning tweets to the top of my profile. So that way, that's the first thing that followers will see or anyone who looks at your Twitter account, they'll see that first like pinned tweet. So for me, I usually will put my like most recent video if I wanna promote that. I don't even wanna say promote, but I mean, that's what you're doing. Or let's say you're a photographer and you really wanna show off your photography skills and you have one particular photo or several that you really wanna show off, I would put it as a photo and then also a link to your website and pin that to your profile or you know whatever business you're in or whatever it is you're into that you wanna share with people, I would definitely pin your tweets to the top, especially like more recent ones, so update it, just to keep it nice and fresh. All right, so that's it for this video. It was very quick and to the point, but if you guys like these types of videos from me, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section. Please don't spam because I've actually had to remove the comments from my previous social media videos because there was a lot of spammy comments, uh, so that's the only thing. So definitely subscribe and turn on notifications because people are not seeing my videos and you guys need to, you guys, you know. This this is happening with a lot of YouTubers right now where people are subscribed but they don't, people that are subscribed don't know when the YouTuber actually uploads. So that's a really big problem. I hope YouTube and Google fix that soon because it's a bitch. But yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'm really looking forward to doing more of these social media videos this year. I'd like to do some on Snapchat and also Facebook as well and yeah, whatever else creeps up on the internet. I'd like to do more social media tip hack videos. So yeah, I hope you guys again are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye.